Good afternoon, colleagues. Thank you for coming to my presentation on the MYP in the Disciplinary Unit, or IDU. This is a professional development session to provide a rationale for interdisciplinary learning using relevant pedagogy and links to the IB philosophy. In today's presentation, I'll be using the MYP in the Disciplinary Unit Planner to help explain the features of unit planning. You can see a thumbnail of the planner on the left with the relevant parts highlighted so that you can refer to your own copy and follow closely. On the right, you will see some key elements of the MYP curriculum framework and program model, such as the IB learner profile, ATL skills, global context, inquiry learning, just to name a few, that are so important to consider during the planning of the written, taught and assessed curriculum. In fact, most of these transcend the continuum of the IB programs from PYP through the MYP into the DP. In the MYP, interdisciplinary learning is purposeful ground grounded in disciplines and integrative. The interdisciplinary unit planner facilitates the inclusion of these three principles in our unit as well as other IB requirements to benefit the IB learners to the fullest. In the MYP curriculum, each subject group requires at least 50 teaching hours per year including the hours within the IBUs respectively. In IDUs, the students will be accessed on selected criteria and strands from the respective subjects as well as the IDU assessment criteria as you can see on the screen and highlighted on the mini IDU planner on the left. School-wide curricular planning is done both horizontally and vertically to ensure the concurrency and coherence in the students' learning. According to the MYP standards and practices, the school provides opportunities for teachers to use collaborative planning and reflection to develop interdisciplinary understanding, and teachers use the MYP planning process to collaboratively design, plan, deliver, and document student inquiry. Also, as required by the IB, each grade level needs to have at least one interdisciplinary unit per year. The IBU can be taught by a single teacher based on his own training, or a single teacher with peer advisor on concepts outside his training, or collaborative plan for co-teaching a series of linked courses. The last type enables students to witness differences in disciplinary perspectives embodied in each teacher. Young learners make connection naturally between different knowledge domains and by organizing and integrating information to solve problems, their understanding of the world deepens. As a student progresses through the IB continuum, he is gradually socialized into disciplinary perspectives that organizes the academic world. A transdisciplinary approach is used in the PYP where students learn through units of themes and experiences shared between disciplines. In the MYP, knowledge is grouped by disciplines and integrated subject groups. There is also an emphasis on interdisciplinary teaching and learning where knowledge transferred across disciplines become useful assets in problem solving. It is important for learners to value the interrelation between disciplinary content and the power of the synthesis of this. In the DP, the teaching and learning approach become multidisciplinary, although there are still opportunities in the theory of knowledge that supports interdisciplinary understanding by exploring the similarities and differences of knowledge in areas of knowledge and ways of knowing. Interdisciplinary teaching and learning is a key feature in the MYP that supports adolescents in making connections with the ever-changing world as they transition this age group with personal, social, physical and intellectual growth. The subject groups in the MYP provide many natural opportunities for students to work within multidisciplinary perspectives and address inquiries between them. As you can see from the MYP program model, the learner profile is at the core, followed by the concepts, ATLs and global context, then by action, service, personal and community projects. These are common areas of interaction for interdisciplinary learning to take place, even beyond the IDU. By now, we should be familiar with the pedagogical underpinnings that support the IB educational ideals. The Brunner Spiral Curriculum and Vygotsky Zone of Proximal Development are theories that value prior knowledge, affirm identities, and extend learning. The solo taxonomy or structure of observed learning outcomes aligns with the student's inquiry cycle as they progress from unistructural, multistructural, relational to extended abstract. Using solo as a reflection tool helps students to evaluate their own progress and choose appropriate next steps, knowing that making interdisciplinary connections leads to better and deeper understanding. We will be seeing these theories again when I elaborate on parts of my sample interdisciplinary unit. Since interdisciplinary teaching and learning in the MYP aims to deepen understanding of learning skills and their meaningful application in the real world, 
IDUs need to purposefully integrate two or more disciplines to explore interesting inquiries that are otherwise impossible. Disciplinary understandings need to be strategically selected in a way that contributes to the student's understanding of a multifaceted problem, but not overwhelm their learning. In the inquiry section of the planner, you will notice the first difference between the IDU and the unit planner used in your subject, and that is the purpose of integration. When designing the IDU, the chosen subjects will be productively studied. The selection of content from each subject should purposefully lead to integrative understanding that requires the collaboration. It is important for students to recognize the two disciplines and when knowledge is used and synthesized in a disciplinary way, it is useful, even powerful, in problem solving and in the creation of innovative ideas. In my unit, called Music is Organized Noise, the integration takes the form of personal expression. Students will construct a new musical scale using mathematical elements from various tuning systems. Using the scale they have constructed, students will compose a short tune of 8 to 16 bars that has personal and or cultural meaning in expressing identity. With this integrative summative task established, backwards design can be used to plan for learning experiences that are linked to the inquiry questions chosen. According to Wiggins' Understanding by Design, the three stages of backwards design will first have the desired outcome in mind, then determine acceptable evidence of competence, and finally plan learning experiences to lead those. The goals of backward design should include transfer, meaning and acquisition of knowledge and understanding. The next part of the IDU planner is similar to the MYP unit planner for subjects. Key concepts and related concepts are selected to frame the unit's inquiry together with a global context and exploration. Here, I have chosen the key concept, form, and the related concepts, patterns from mathematics and structure from music. Personal and cultural expression, which is the global context chosen for the unit, matches well with the form of integration and can achieve the exploration of beauty. The Statement of Inquiry, or SOI, connects these concepts with the global context in a sentence that is easy for students to read. My SOI reads, Understanding the patterns and structure in different forms help us appreciate the beauty of music. You can color code the concept and global context throughout the planner as a reminder that they are linked. Below are the inquiry questions that are linked to the SOI and drive the cycle of inquiry within the unit. These are categorized into factual, conceptual, and debatable. You will see the inquiry questions in other sections of the planner as a reminder that the learning experiences and tasks should lead to answering these inquiries. Since international mindedness is the overarching philosophy of IB programs, I have included a question, why is it important to use standardized music notation and tuning systems? Inquiry questions should be relevant, feasible, and clearly framed. These are the guiding markers in the constructivist theory of discovery learning, where knowledge discovered and internalized will form deeper meaning for learners. Concept-based learning uses big ideas that are timeless, abstract, universal, and transferable. Erickson's structure of knowledge suggests that concept-based learning promotes a three-dimensional understanding that links between different areas. Having a prescribed list of ATL concepts and global contexts helps to connect the students' learning from earlier years and onto the future education and work, thus helping them better appreciate the concurrency of learning and that concepts can be transferable beyond the constraints of a time period of a fixed context. Learning through interdisciplinary units bridges conceptual understanding with global context through inquiry and is manifested in approaches to learning and the IB learner profiles. Next, the action portion of the interdisciplinary unit planner. This is where the disciplinary content from each subject is selected, learning engagements and teaching strategies are planned. Disciplinary expertise may be necessary to fulfill intermediary goals, reframe relevant inquiry questions, or move from the analysis of a problem towards its solution. In this part of the planner, the assessment criteria from each subject are stated. The content should be selective and linked to the inquiry questions and the SOI. They should also be matched with the strengths on the subject objectives so that the suitable assessments can be created. While maintaining a robust interdisciplinary grounding, the subject objectives should be reorganized in a meaningful and connected way so that the aims of the ITU within the MYP can be achieved when students are explicitly taught and assessed in an interdisciplinary way. The two subjects here are mathematics and music. 
To understand the construction of a musical scale, students need to recognize the patterns between consecutive notes and the progression of these intervals to form a complete octave. They can approach this progression of intervals like a mathematical sequence to generalize and reproduce on demand. The most common musical scale is based on the pattern tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone as one complete octave before the pattern repeats. The music teacher can introduce the ideas of the whole tone scale and the 12 tone composition technique based on the chromatic scale. The whole tone scale can be integrated with mathematical idea of equidistant numbers in an arithmetic progression, while the 12 tone technique can introduce students to algorithms leading back to forming patterns with pitches and rhythms. This integration yields a deeper understanding. The pitches in the musical scales have patterns in their structure, and these patterns can be generalized like numbers in mathematics. Let me now show you some selected parts of the interdisciplinary learning process. In response to the conceptual inquiry set earlier, I have chosen to introduce the concept of patterns in rhythms as well as forms of notation using Steve Beecher's clapping music. I'll be showing the students the clapping rhythm represented as standard notation, visual pattern, a sound clip, and a video that shows all three forms together. Then the students will go to the think in pair share where they will think about the form of representation that communicates best to them, write the short piece of their own, pair up to test out the form of notation and make improvements, and finally sharing with the rest of the class. Think in pair share is a visible learning routine that structures the inquiry action reflection process. The students will also develop communication skills as they attempt to formulate their ideas in an organized manner. Pair and share helps develop each learner's zone of proximal development as they give and receive feedback constructively. Through this activity, the IB learner profiles are developed. The students are principled when they defend their choice and be consistent in the chosen pattern and rhythm. They also need to be reflective when feedback is provided and deciding how to make improvements. There is room to practice the ATL communication skills when sharing ideas with others. I have used red and blue to indicate the concepts and purple for ATL skills when writing my plan. For formative assessment, the students will create a body percussion performance that uses Fibonacci number sequence from mathematics and ostinato rhythm from music. They will be required to integrate the patterns in Fibonacci numbers into the structure of an ostinato rhythm. In order to complete this task, the students will need to use ATL skills like collaboration with others and communication skills. Differentiated teaching and learning strategies are important to ensure equal access to all students. Tomlinson's differentiation by content, process, product and environment is useful. The students have choice in content, product and environment, while the teacher can provide differentiated scaffolding and feedback during the process. This will ensure that all students will have the chance to experience interdisciplinary learning regardless of their prior attainment in the subjects involved. The last portion of the interdisciplinary unit planner is reflection. To be effective teachers, we should constantly reflect to review our teaching plans and practice. Prior to teaching, during the unit, and after teaching the unit, we can go through a cycle of inquiry, action, and reflection by ourselves about the IDU we have designed. Ask ourselves, is the design of this IDU purposeful, integrative, and grounded in disciplines? And are the inquiry questions relevant, feasible, and clearly framed? Do the activities allow the student to inquire, act upon, and reflect? More importantly, how well do the learning experiences and teaching strategies allow the teacher to access the student's interdisciplinary understanding from what they do say, make, or write? And how well do these align with the IDU assessment criteria? The IDU criteria are A. Disciplinary grounding B. Synthesizing C. Communicating and D. Reflecting in the example I shared earlier, the learning activity and the formative assessment require students to use content from both mathematics and music. That is criterion A. Using routines like think in pair share requires students to communicate, which is criterion C, and reflect on their work, which is criterion D, and it will be ongoing throughout the unit. The collaborative performance for the formative assessment requires synthesis of knowledge from both disciplines, and that is criterion B. It is very important to ensure that the design of your IDU allow for students to learn and be accessed. Finally, as a school, we would like to provide our students with a balanced education. It would be good to coordinate the subject pairings to avoid over or underemphasis on certain subject groups. All subjects are equally important. Please let the MYP leadership team know if you have any intended IDU ideas. 
feel free to ask us any further questions. Here are my references used for today's presentation. Thank you for your time.